Hey, what's going on, everyone? Justin Croxton here from Propellant Media. Super excited. I can't tell you how often we have clients, brands that, you know, they're spending $5,000, $3,000, $20,000 a month, $100,000 a month, and they're not even thinking about making a $300 or $200 investment to improve their overall conversion rate optimization. But as you can imagine, if you, if you make the investment to improve lead flow, you're naturally going to get more out of your ad spend. And in fact, conversion rate optimization, in my mind, ends up being even more important um, or just as important as, um, as the ad spend that you're doing within Google Ads, Facebook, all those different areas. This part is really important. So we have a lot of folks who say, look, I don't have all that time. You know, how can I do something for less than $200? So if you have a web developer, you're doing some of this yourself, some of this is going to be a little over 200, but I've, I've done this plenty of times. Uh, a lot of folks on our team have where you can actually get away with a good conversion rate optimization strategy as you're implementing digital ads through Google, Google ads, geofencing marketing, things of that nature. Here's the playbook, everyone. This is what I'm going to suggest. And so bear with me for a second. And for those who have not been to our website, I'm actually going to use uh, our site is like an example. Um, so at Propellant Media, you can imagine that we really do practice what we preach, and we'll show you what, what we mean by that uh, as we go through this together. So first, you want to have a form at the very top as well as at the bottom of your site and on every single page that you possibly can. Why? If someone's going to your site, you want to increase the probability that someone's going to submit their contact details. You gotta do it that way. There's no other way to do it, gang. Have a form on each page of your website and don't try to put a thousand fields on there. They can be four to six fields and, and you're able to at least capture enough information to get them into your CRM system, do some follow-up from sales enablement perspective and then you're solid. And then what we've done at Propellant Media is we have actually a version of our, of our form that shows up at the top on desktop. And we also have a mobile version that has only three text fields because, you know, people are impatient sometimes on mobile devices. And so they want what they want when they want it. And so if, if for all of you are out there, I mean, I mean, literally, I kid you not, just go directly to propellant, you know, www.propellant.media on your mobile device and you'll see what I'm talking about. But in addition to that, you can see when you click on some of these links, a form pops up. You click on a link, a form pops up. You click on another link, form pops up. We're trying to give ourselves as many opportunities to get your contact details so that we can connect with you, engage with you, educate you further, and go from there. So that's the first thing. Second, when it comes to getting the form at the top, there's a couple platforms that you can use to embed your forms. One is you can just have it hard-coded um, directly in WordPress or whatever CMS system you're using for your website. But there are other platforms such as HubSpot, more expensive, CallRail, less expensive. A great platform that we use from time to time for clients is Optin Monster. You can embed it you know, on your site. It's a really great tool, feeds great analytics, and it works really well. It doesn't cost a lot. I think it's like 50 bucks a month, something like that. Next, phone number at the top. And at the bottom, I didn't put this in here, but we actually like to use CallRail as another tool so that we can measure the calls that are coming in. Um, it's, a, it's a great tool that we always suggest to many of our clients who want to know where you're getting a lot of phone calls coming from. But if you go back to Propel Media's website, you can see that we have our form or our phone number here at the top. And as you scroll to the bottom, you'll see we also here have a, at the bottom for both of our offices in Atlanta, also in Charlotte as well and then we have it down here one more time so we're just giving ourselves more opportunities for a brand to get in contact with us and we're not leaving it to chance another area doesn't cost a lot it's part of the 50 dollars package that you have here again hubspot can range anywhere from 200 to a thousand dollars per month but it's still worth it if i if i were to think about all the tools that we've invested as an agency not just for our clients but for ourselves it's a 100x return, I, I, and I'm, I am not exaggerating. From the time saved to the lead flow that we get, again, we get well over 1,000 leads a month. HubSpot's worth it, everyone. But we use what we call pop-up um, exit intent. And so what that means, pop-ups for our site, so that means when someone comes to the site after 20 seconds, 
a pop-up will show up on the site effectively. Or if we're about to leave the site, a pop-up shows up. We get plenty of leads that way as well. Highly suggested, highly recommended. You can have like a bar that's at the top. You can have a, a square bar that's on the right-hand side or on the left-hand side. We usually just go with the pop-ups and they work incredibly well, incredibly well. A couple other things, a Wistia account. Um, Wistia is a video platform management tool. As you can see, this is what Wistia is, is what the form looks like. And so we actually have an explainer video for geofencing. And, you know, we actually also have a number of other videos on our site, but this is the one where it, it's not gated. You can actually see the whole thing, and that's intentional. But video, you'd be surprised the impact that video actually has from a conversion rate optimization perspective. It just humanizes the brand further. It gives more context on the organization. It helps educate people better. And it's really not a, a heavy lift. It doesn't cost a whole lot extra to produce various videos or develop a video that's going to ultimately bring value. And even just this video of me having talking to you about conversion rate optimization, you can literally do just this kind of video and have it on your site um, to tell a full, fuller story about whatever you're trying to explain or share a little bit more about yourself or your organization. Highly, highly recommended. Um, three to four eBooks. So we, we, we like to call that delighting and nurturing your, your prospects that come to your site. So a lot of times we'll couple that with our forms, but also we'll couple that with our pop-ups. So if someone comes to the site, they'll be able, in this case, we'll have buttons where you can actually download a geofencing guide. We'll have things of that nature. When you're about to leave, part of that pop-up says, hey, would you like to, you know, information on our ebook for geofencing or our paid search audit process or things of that nature. And then they'll have to enter their first name, last name, or just their first name, email address, and maybe their website URL so we can do some research on their company. And then they're then enabled into our CRM system, which is essentially through HubSpot. And we use sales enablement to reach out to those individuals, send them the ebook, delight them, connect with them, give them a ton of information, and then, you know, build that relationship with them. So, we, we actually use Fiverr, like, you know, a lot of times the folks on our team, we've built out a lot of the different um, ebooks. Um, we'll write them all out, but then uh, we have folks on Fiverr that will turn them into something that looks a little bit more beautiful. Um, and we'll, you know, literally, kid you not, <laughs> we'll upload those uh, to our website and we'll use that as part of our gated content, essentially. In addition to that, we also like to gate our pricing. So when it comes to gating pricing, uh, when it comes to, to gating pricing, we actually don't like to tell everyone what our pricing is. There are some instances where you will have to. But as you can imagine, we've looked at our analytics, and pricing happens to be the second most click button on our site. So if you're getting that many people that want pricing, then you know, you know, sometimes it makes sense to just give it. But other cases, we want your contact details. And so in those instances, we'll gate the pricing. You then, once you click on the button, you'll notice that you still have to give up some contact details. It's totally worth it. You will see conversions go up, I promise you. Um, that's been our experience with the pricing that we gate um, on our website. So let's go back here. Uh, these are standard practices, case studies, testimonials. Obviously, you need to have that. Um, uh, content, not long enough, but also not short enough. So. The world of geofencing does really truly require some form of education. You got to educate people about geofencing marketing, programmatic display. But for us, we didn't want to build a website that was just, this is who we are, this is what we do, these are some of our accolades, that's all I got, effectively. And so as you scroll down, you'll notice that we have a lot of great content on here that just tells the fuller story of Propellant Media, but also humanizes the brand. So. So I just wanted to give some perspective there. And then the last piece uh, that I wanted to mention is around um, uh, their chatbot. We have some great chatbots. We always recommend this to clients that are trying to, how do I say, get more people that are going to engage. And people engage with you in different ways. Sometimes they call. Sometimes they want to submit a form. Other cases, they want to you know, engage with you on chat. You can see that's what we have here. We have a chat that works very well. It's a chat bot that finally pulls someone in, you know, when they're when you submit your contact details. 
works incredibly well. We've done that pretty often. Um, CallRail has one now, I believe. HubSpot, absolutely, we use that. But a really cheap one is GivoChat. It costs like 25, 50 bucks a month. But within all of that, if you're implementing these options from a conversion rate optimization perspective, you are absolutely going to get at least, you know, you're going to double your conversions without a doubt in my mind. Um, highly recommended. 200 bucks a month. Go get it. I wish you guys the very best. Thanks for taking the time. Talk soon.